In this video, I'm going to show you the best fire kindling work pals to use in your base. Now, kindling work pals are ones that use basically fire to, you know, smelt your ingots and stuff. Now, these are very important. You will need at least maybe one or two of these in your base at all times. In this video, I'm going to show you level four kindling and level three kindling pals that are great for this. Now, the absolute best one is also the hardest one to get. And this is going to be Jormantide Ignis. Now, the problem with Ignis is that I don't have a nice cheesy way to get this one. This one you have to be around level 40 to 45 to catch, but you can see it has Kindling level 4 and it only does Kindling. Its job is fire. Now, Jormantide Ignis can only be found in one location. If I go to the habitat over here, you can see that is at the Wildlife Number 2 Sanctuary right over here on the map. So if you're around level 45, this is the best one but I'm gonna give you the next best things that you can get at level 20. And this is because we're gonna be using the breeding farm to make any pal that we want, well, except like the Ignis one, using pals that are only around level 20. So for the second pal option, the second best one, this is going to be Ragnarok. Now, the reason why I'd say it's the second best one is it has Kindling level three, so great fire, but it also has Transporting level three. This means that when it has nothing to burn, it's going to go ahead and pick up loot and stuff lying on the ground and transport it to chests or wherever the things that they need to be. So if you're not, if there's no fire, it's going to be working. It's not just going to be sitting there doing nothing like Jormantide would be doing if there's no firework. So Ragnarok, probably the best one to get for kindling. Now Ragnarok can be found around the volcano area here, but you're not going to go ahead and, and catch it there because it's going to be much too high level for you because we want this at level 20. And we're going to do this by breeding. And breeding is going to require the breeding form that you unlock at level 19. And you're also going to need to make cake, which there is a tutorial in the description of this video on how to get cake and make cake. So to breed Ragnarok, there's two different methods I'm going to give you. The first option is by breeding a Nightwing, male or female. Now, Nightwing, you can get pretty much, you know, all over the map in various areas. You should have a Nightwing by this point of the game anyway. And you're going to breed Nightwing with the male or female equivalent of Elizabeth. Now, Nightwing and Elizabeth braid together are going to make Ragnarok. Nice and easy, right? Now, um, Elizabeth is found at around like level 20. Habitat is usually around here in the world, surrounded by some bee guards but generally super easy to get. Like Elizabeth is not that crazy. At level 20, you can get Elizabeth and Nightwing you can get from like, you know, level like 10 almost. Now, once you have these two, you just put them in your base and you go ahead and you pick them up and throw them at the breeding farm and you should see a male and a female, one of each, and it will start breeding. You can see the egg will start making progress. Now, alternatively, if you don't want to use Nightwing or Elizabeth, another two pals that you can use to breed this are going to be Azurobe, which is pretty easy to get. In fact, you can find it at a raid, a level 17 raid in the world here, coordinates negative 53, negative 387. You can catch one there at level 17. And if you breed that Azurobe with a Relaxaurus, which is also pretty easy to get, usually around level 16 that you find in the wild. If you go ahead and click Habitat here, you'll see it's found and caught in this area over here. You'll be farming them anyway for those, um, you know, high quality uh, PAL oils. If you put those two in the farm here, you will also go ahead and get yourself a Ragnarok. And you'll see after some time, they will make an egg here and you'll see it's a large scorching egg. It will always be the large scorching egg. If I go ahead and I incubate this egg, you will see every single time we will breed a Ragnarok. And that's how you can easily get Ragnarok with the three kindling, three transporting. Another pal that we can use is Reptyro. Reptyro has three in kindling, but also has three in mining. So this is a good mining one. So you can actually use it to mine ores. And once it's done mining, it will go ahead and start smelting them for you. So it's actually a pretty decent, um, you know, one to use to, to do those both works. Now, Reptyro is usually found at level 35 on the habitat. It's around the volcano area. Level 35 is pushing it. I can show you how to breed this by being level 20. And one of the breeding pals is going to be Relaxaurus that we just looked at. So Relaxaurus habitat again is found over here. If you breed a Relaxaurus with Pyrin, you will get Reptyro. Now, the problem with Pyrin is that Pyrin is found around level 29 to like 33, also in the volcano area. But I'm going to go ahead a step further here and we're going to do breedception is I'm going to show you how to breed Pyrin really easy and really quickly so that you can get Pyrin so that you can breed it with Relaxaurus to make yourself a Reptyro, all while being level 20. 
Now to breed Pyron, you're going to need Pain King. Pain King is really easy to get. In fact, it has a raid on the map that I believe is level 15 over here. As you can see, Pain King over here, you can get this at the raid at location 114, negative 352. And if you breed this with Grizzbolt, Pain King plus Grizzbolt is going to make Pyron. Now, Grizzbolt is found at level 20-ish. It's going to be found at the Wildlife Sanctuary right over here at the bottom of the map. Just fly around until it spawns. You should find it at around level 20. Go ahead and catch it. Breed those two together to make Pyron. Then you go ahead and you assign both of them to your farm. As always, one has to be male and one has to be female. And this will start the egg breeding process. And after some time, you should get yourself a large scorching egg. And if I go ahead and incubate this, you will see we'll get Reptyro from this every single time that we breed Pyron and Relaxorus together. Boom. There you go. Reptyro, a nice fire and mining work pal that you can use. Okay, so for the final pal that I'm going to talk about for Kindling is going to be Blaze Howl. Now, Blaze Howl has level 3 in Kindling and level 2 in Lumbering. It's not so good as the mining from Reptyro, but maybe you have a bunch of other miners, which there are tons of miners in this game. So if you want one that does fire and then on the side it does some like lumbering because lumbering later on is not going to be super important because you're going to have so much wood anyway. Now Blaze Howl is typically quite hard to get. It's going to be at the volcano over here, but we can breed it in the most simplest and easiest ways. It's probably the easiest one to breed out of all the ones I showed you today. And to breed Blaze Howl, we're going to need Pen King. Yes, remember the level 15 raid on the world over here at coordinates 114, negative 353. Pain King can be found over there. You should have one already. And we're going to breed this with Doomud. Literally, Doomud. Like, not the most craziest pal to find in the world is actually found over here. So you can get a bunch of them there. Or alternatively, you can find a level 14 raid for it right over here at this island over here. As I slowly zoom in to this location, level 14, Doomud over here at negative 309, 4. Going to that location, doing that raid, and like catching it, you can get both of those. And breeding both of those together by throwing them in your breeding farm, is going to work to producing an egg that is going to make Blaze Howl. And this is going to be done by giving you the large scorching egg, and every single time you breed those two, you go to the incubation chamber, put the egg in, and we're going to incubate it, and you will see we'll get Blaze Howl nice and simply every single time we breed those two. And those are all the best fire kindling work pals that I suggest you use in your base. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching.